Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine and today we're taking an inside and outside look at this 2023 Forest River Flagstaff E-Pro 20 BHS. Before we get started, thank you so much for watching, like this video, subscribe to our channel and let's hop right in. Starting on the outside entertainment space of this small but mighty camper, we've got a giant awning, well for this small mighty camper. Um, we've got it pulled out on this sunny day here in Tennessee and it sure does cool down your outside space. We also have that LED light strip underneath so it's really going to shine at nighttime. And just one thing to note is our entryway is kind of close to our awning arm. So just make sure that's pulled in appropriate so that you can get that thing put in and then all the way or put out and all the way back in. We also have a step above step system that really helps stabilize this camper and they're great quality and they flip up into the camper when you put it in travel mode. Nice big grab handle out here and we even have a spot here for some accessories like our griddle that comes with this camper. It's still in the box because again, brand new, but you do mount it right here. So you have everything all in one, pretty much everything you need out here, but let's take a look at that storage. I'm currently on the opposite side of our entryway where we have all of our convenience needs when you get to the campground. We got our cable, satellite, city water connection, outdoor shower, water, and even our power. We do have a pass-through storage for this camper and it stays up on its own. It's a good place to put all of your cords and everything. They give you a really nice quality leather style bag for all of that, as well as our griddle is down there right in the box. Again, it's brand new. We also have our docking lights right front and center and all of our vins and everything are on this side as well. But I think it's time to take a look inside. Before I come inside, take a look at your inside view from this side door for extra storage. It does have a little bit of a window in it and you see into your bunk area, but they give you a nice curtain for privacy and it flips up for even more storage if you happen to have some bikes that are, you know, narrow enough. We've got some children coming along for these bunks, but this could also be a really cool area for kids to explore, but I'll come inside. Here I am right inside of our doorway and just for a little bit of reference, I'm about five foot 11. You may hit your head when going out of here, so just make sure that you step down onto that step and be conscious, but they did add some padding just in case so it won't hurt too bad. To my left, we have our control panel for our single slide and or all of our lights and your water heaters and everything else that you need to control. But this entryway area is a little small. Of course, it's a small camper, but you do even get a little light that comes on. So if you happens to be dark and you're returning back from maybe a campground exciting event, you'll definitely not trip and fall. So that's definitely a plus. But let's scooch over to our little kitchen area. We have everything we need right here, including this cute square st steel sink. It comes with a drying rack a overlay on the top, just in case you needed to dry some of those dishes. I like the black faucet. It does not have a removable handle, but it is so far up that you can manipulate those big pots and pans. We have a small little thing for extra things to do our dishes and even a drawer for those utensils. As far as being able to store your dishes, you've got one compartment up here that is pretty big and we can definitely add some organization in there. It should fit enough for the amount of people that can sleep in this camper, which is two, four, five people. That's a lot. We even have our three burner top stove with the splash guard built in. And you even have extra storage down below with this fold down compartment, maybe for some pots or pans that you wanna bring along. The hood up top helps for any bacon smoke that may be happening in the morning when you're making breakfast. And your cute little RV fridge is not far away. And the freezer is definitely big enough for some popsicles for the kids because it does get hot at the campsite. You have a nice drawer and places for extra drinks. Above that, we have a microwave and even a small option for a pantry that's definitely bigger than you would think it is, but everything we need and more. Located in the only slide is your dinette option. This is a full dinette that's pretty comfy. It's got nice comfy cushions. You can sit four people here comfortably and play a nice board game, have a nice meal, and enjoy a view from your three windows. If you need the privacy, of course, these come in handy. They pull down and retract super easily. And this also transforms into another sleeping space if you happen to have an additional person coming by and hanging out and wanting to stay the night. 
and you even get a light that you can turn on and off while you're still sitting here so they have their own night light if they need it but the bed is not far away it is a full-size bed that is super comfy. You have a window here, your front cap window that looks out there. Again, you have your own privacy. And we even have a charging port right close by to your bed. The TV is located right front and center, but we can always pull that out and swivel it if anyone else wants to watch the movie along. And extra storage with our mesh dividers up top. Down below, I believe we have extra storage, but one more thing I wanted to note is that this mattress is on a fully carpeted base so you can change this out for whatever style mattress if you want a thicker one you don't have to fit it into any sort of frame so that's good to note and check out this large drawer our bunks are tucked away in the corner here but have great access to the snack area just a note we also have a window up top that you can pop open you can't open that completely so no one's falling out but you can twist it open a little bit for some airflow. And then down below, of course, you have access to that indoor outdoor door. That also locks from the inside, so no safety precautions there. And then this compartment looks straight into that underbelly area that you can reach from that door as well. Each person gets their own little privacy curtains, lights, and outlets and charging ports, which are needed. Our light and bright little bathroom here has everything you need to skip the gross campground bathroom. Toilet front and center, nice big mirror located on the wall with our light switch and an extra outlet if you wanted to get ready. We have enough storage here for everybody, even some extra towels and the shower is a little small, but of course this is a tiny but mighty camper. And it's basically an inset tub down at the bottom. So if you happen to have some little ones coming along, you can definitely utilize this for them. That also houses your sink area so that you can wash off. You don't have to get into here in order to reach that sink area. And you've got that removable nozzle so you can use it to shower off anything, maybe shoes, yourself. This is just a quick clean area. You do get a shower curtain already on the track. And again, I'm about five foot 11. I can reach all the way up, but I may touch this. But again, we're at the campsite, we're getting it done. And this definitely beats that campground bathroom. So what do you think of this Bunkhouse E-Pro? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have any questions about this camper or any other camper on our lot, give us a call or visit us online at cookbellrv.com where your adventure awaits.